So, my name's Rob Lindley. I've um, moved to Toronto uh, 12 years ago. I'm 35 now. Um, been teaching martial arts for the last 12 years here. It's uh, my passion. It's my, uh, my primary um, artistic expression. Uh, it's not the only thing that I do artistically, but it's, uh, it's my, my, my greatest, greatest desire and, and passion that I, I take part in, definitely. There was a, uh, a community gathering place uh, near, near my home in, in uh, the west side of Toronto called Radial Area. And that was my first experience meeting uh, members of the community in, in large numbers together at the same time. Uh, they had a, a Sunday community gathering and I was actually seeking out a place to teach martial arts. And I was told that there was a large uh, uh, community studio that uh, might be interested in checking out, uh, which I did. And uh, now I'm a, a member of, uh, of the collective board of uh, the Manifest community. Um, the, the day I walked in, was, uh, it was amazing. I walked into a room where there was people that were uh, sharing alternative healing uh, arts uh, from uh, Reiki, massage therapy, uh, there's people doing uh, palmistry, uh, some, a couple of people doing astrology readings, I believe, as well. And uh, aside from that, there was uh, artisans sharing a variety of different uh, wares, uh, jewelry, leather crafting. Uh, there was art classes being done in another room. There was a live band on stage. There was a cafe. Uh, and I walked in the room, and there was art around the room, and there was a, uh, an energy among the people in this room. And uh, I was moved to tears. It is an expression of many people's ideas. So, and that's, that, that, that's what makes it great. Paul Zuloff. I am an artist, painter, digital painter, body painter. Anything that moves, I'll try to paint it. Try to catch up to it if I have to. And I am really looking forward to a space for our community, which is thriving with all kinds of wonderful people and activities, including theater, all the arts, and dancing, music, uh, healing, which is really important, life guidance, teaching workshops, martial arts, full body, mind, and spirit activation and celebration. A place to call home, having a place where we can all be together, it gives us, a, it's empowering. You know, it's bringing to life, you know, to manifest something in reality. Right now, we don't have our own space. We're all artists and we all manifest collectively the energy to create different things, but we're working as a team together to hopefully bring uh, to fruition a, a physical home. Gary's space, we've been negotiating that, um, 260 Gary there since September, and w the best part that came out of it is that we're all meeting w once a week. It's a shame that three days before, the scumbag landlord uh, screwed us over for the space, uh, and we were in shell shock, and this is the first meeting seven weeks later, and uh, we got a better space out of it at 1140 Second meeting. Second meeting. I learned that, uh, that there was a lot of people that, uh, that were maybe interested in this project but not as committed as I think the people that are sitting here today. Uh, that uh, I think that we as a group learned that there was a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of issues or, or, or pieces of, the, of this puzzle that were necessary that, we, did, that we, we wanted to have or maybe thought we had that were not there that uh, we've been able to gather. We've uh, founded no, no, a, a co-op, we've got uh, I believe a GST number and a lot of other things. Uh, we're now applying for, uh, for our, our grants, which is uh, a, uh, I think a huge blessing. And uh, we've all uh, learned, I think, some, uh, some good lessons on, on the, the issues with working with, uh, with landlords and being a tenant and uh, in a capacity of the side and size and how, uh, how there can be some, some difficulty. So by the sounds of it, this new, uh, new space and this new, uh, new direction is going to be a good thing for everybody and I'm really much, very much looking forward to it. It's, been a, it's an amazing yeah. learning curve, really, and like, uh, seeing everything develop. I mean, um, having a bunch of people working on it is a good thing in the sense that everybody's pooling all their work together, but it's also a logistical nightmare <laughs> of getting everybody to be 
available to move on a given date and securing the space all all the you know ducks lined up in a row kind of thing you know what I mean so I'm looking forward to round two. <laughs> oh well we learned how to get organized we learned how to work together uh, we learned to define what our goals are for the space what we want it to become and we learned just how much potential we have because well I mean so many people came together to make this thing happen the first meeting had like 30 people all the stuff in it's important and uh, yeah we have meetings once a week and progressively we just yeah we got more organized and uh, learned what each one of us has to offer and uh, well, yeah, I think this project still has a lot of potential, um, especially considering there's a lot of pros to this new space that we're considering that did not exist at the Geary space. Um, yeah. Going backwards, like rewinding, I just did a bunch of the grants, and so that was good, and the house meetings were good, and working, coordinating all the tenants was good, and planning everything, just, yeah, all of it. <laughs> Got to learn how many people are really manifesting this vision, how many people are really coming together to actually make this happen. And the more that we plan and coordinate ourselves, the more that this really becomes real. So I think this time, this space, we're actually going to be ready. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> we are passing into a great change of species, and no matter how loudly the old authorities may proclaim that this is not so, it is going to happen. Our moment in time, when population reaches its limit and the world as we know it ends, is not about death at all. It is about ascending into a new kind of life. They own the sea to the sky, our dreams and our lives, our means to survive, but not between our eyes. We gotta free our minds and redesign them, seek and find the trees to climb high in, read the signs between the lines, defeat the lies, discreetly hiding deep inside them. Sheep unite and beat the tyrant, leave the island, but keep smiling, smile. Cause why try to fit in to a life that has been pre-planned to keep man in a cycle of sin? The fight could have been won, but we sit stunned as we get drunk and forget once we were trapped. And now they can complete their goal Cause we're convinced the dung heaps are gold People sold to keep our souls dug in deeper holes Than we could know we're stuck in Now something is wrong with that Don't you think? Life can be a sequence of precluded opportunities Just like deja vu that never ends It seems our position as spirit beings On this physical journeys to make our moves and then ascend Life can be a sequence of precluded opportunity Just like deja vu that never ends It's use our position as spirit beings On this physical journey to make our moves and then ascend I know sometimes it seems like it's some kind of dream, right? Some try to scream and reach the sun shining beams But the path is paved in choices and the voices tell you lies But it's your choice, your, your life. life, don't wait for hell to rise It won't be televised in any case, on any stations anyways And many wait for many saviors, many say that any day The pennies they attempt to save will buy them plenty acres And the petty labors every day works fruit can then be savored Believe what you choose to, but I refuse to surrender To the people that rule you and their ruthless agenda Spend a day away with me, don't slave this week or play the game and